can you start us with the uh, injury situation, please? Yeah, it's quite a, a lot. So, um, handle clearing session today it was part of parts of training so far. The clearing session today, and then it should be that's fine, and it should be completely normal training from tomorrow on. Alberto Moreno on a on a good way. So training, meanwhile, four or five days or so, and um, looks good. Um, we had a few players uh, struggle a little bit with illness. Ragnar Klavan, Dejan and Mo Salah. I think Ruggie and, um, and Mo should be back today, hopefully, or tomorrow. Other interest. Klein is doing well, but still a few steps to go. Who else? Virtual Pandemic. Virtual, virtual yeah. trends, normal. Yeah, yeah trend normal. Then sort of, yeah, it's fit. As far as Daniel is concerned, there's been a lot of talk of the possibility of him maybe moving somewhere, perhaps on loan. That, that might have an effect on, on Danny Ings. What are your thoughts on your, your sort of secondary strikers, if you like, and, and whether Daniel perhaps would benefit from going off somewhere? Oh, there are a lot of questions. That's a question and that, that, that all. Um, my question about the transfer market, and we don't discuss the transfer market here. <laughs> So, unfortunately, um, so if there are any rumors, I'm not aware of that, but um, it's not too important. So we will see what happens until the 31st. But of course, what I can say is we have a long and very decisive part of the season still to play. So we cannot only, I said a few times in this part of the se in, in this transfer window, it looks always like the season is already over and everybody who didn't play often enough wants to leave then or stuff like that. But we still have games to play and we need all the players. So we will see. Wow. How it will be at the 31st, but um, nothing else to say about that, to be honest. Are you actively still looking to bring anyone in at all? I mean, continue obviously. Is there a, a like for like possibility that you're actively looking for in this window, or are you happy to just let things go as they are? Well, I think that the, 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 the answer for something like that, if something I don't know. We'll jump in my face or whatever. Then maybe we we'll, 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 we'll maybe we think about it. But no, we don't look actively that we find now a new player which we don't know uh, so far, and um, think maybe that's a solution or whatever. We we I, I said it before. It's just um, we have to first of all we have to use the players we have, and um, I think that makes absolutely sense because we have um, really high quality player, especially Adam Lalana. He's not. The replacement for Phil Coutinho is a completely different player, but he's a fantastic player, and he couldn't play most of the part. No, big part. No, he couldn't play like 2017, eh? um, the first part of this season. So, um, and he's back, and it's good. So, um, not really. Um, but I could say we are, believe we are active now. Just one general question on, on, on the market itself. It looks as though we're about to see Alexis Sanchez moving from. Arsenal to Manchester United, and, and for a player that only has six months left on his contract, the fee could be in the region of thirty-five million pounds. What do you think that says about the, the state of the, the transfer market at the moment, when we've got a club like Manchester City with the resources that they've got, and they say that's too expensive? <laughs> um, now I could really create headlines, huh? <laughs> um, but I won't. So it's not. It's not my business, not my cup of tea. So we had our big transfer. Everybody could say about that. What they all our two big transfers. So in this window, I'm not sure. Is, is it fixed already with um, Alexi? Too? It's, it's not absolutely written in stone, but it's finer details are being sorted out as we speak. So how was that? Uh, nothing to say about the numbers, but um, I cannot imagine that City leaves the race because of money. So maybe it's because. There are two opportunities in Manchester, and if you think you can be to go to one or the other, then maybe one club thinks, yeah, then I don't want him anymore. Maybe I'm not sure, but it's not, it's not that it's not about money. Yeah, so Alexis Sanchez makes sense for pretty much each team in the world because he's a fantastic player. So bring him in whenever. I think um, helps. Um, yeah, United as well, of course. So he's a really good player. So, but how is that? We are not in. Yeah. So that's um, the only thing I'm interested in. So that's it. Peter? Jürgen, you're off to Swansea. You beat them 5 0 recently. You're 30 points ahead of them. 
you had all the delights of, of last weekend. How do you guard against complacency this weekend? Oh, look, life is um, a summary of challenges, and that's a big challenge. We, we, we played against the, the, the top of the table with Man City, we played a fantastic game, played Swansea a few weeks ago, not too long ago, with a former and a caretaker manager. And I said after the game was much more difficult than the result um, could um, let you think. And um, so we, we know about the, the specific challenge in this in this game um, because they are now bottom of the table. That's how it is. But they are in a good way. To be honest, we, we, what you saw since new manager is in is a big big improvement again. It's um, much better results. Uh, one during the week, the FA Cup rematch, the Riga play, and. Um, um, doing well, and um, so that's all we think about. And um, I'm not even sure if we have a look on our on, on our game against Swansea because it will be it will be different. We have to we need to have a look on the games um, since they changed the manager, and that's um, that's a challenge to be honest. But uh, so how it always is, if you know about the challenge, you can be prepared for it, and that's what uh, it's my job to do. That we go there and don't think about the five 0 don't think about Man City, only think about what do we have to do to. Um, yeah. Keep them away from our goal and be as often as possible in front of their goal. So that's how it is. And um, yeah, Monday night, still a few days to go. Um, hopefully, we can make the, the the choice for the lineup from a pretty much full squad. That would be perfect. And then let's go there and and uh, let's use the basis of the season so far and not um, anything else. So it's just it's clear we go there. And uh, we want to win, that's clear, but we know about the difficulty. You're on a marvellous run at the moment, I think it's 18 games unbeaten. Is it, is it that's the challenge as well? You've got to go to places like Swansea on a Monday night in January and, and, and get a result to sort of keep that, keep that momentum going? Look, um, I don't, if nobody would tell me how often we didn't lose, I, I have had no idea, would not have an idea about it, because um, that's all the past. I'm not really interested in that. You can, you can look on the season or, or look back to a season after the season and not during. So it's not important. Yes, we are in a good moment. We feel in a good moment. I see the boys training every day. It's, it's, um, it looks good. That's, that's the truth. That's why we can play like we played so far, but we have to do it again. And that's as, a, as especially as a Liverpool player, you have to. There's not no time. You cannot perform one week and then two weeks not or something. Like that. We need to to deliver consistently and, and every day and each game and stuff like that. So and though it's only the next game, and um, I can't imagine any easy games in the Premier League. And once is for sure not an easy game. It's a long trip. So we fly to Cardiff. Drive to Swansea, stuff like that. You don't want to do that, and we have to come back at night and stuff like that. So it's not, it's not a friendly game. Not in one second. It's a real tough Premier League game, and um, we had enough time, or will have had enough time then on Monday to prepare that game. And um, we are still in, of course. We're still doing that. Very important sessions to come in this week, and as long as we um, have enough fit players, we want to go there and win the game. But with all. Uh, the things we know about. Um, Jürgen, you kind of suggested after the Manchester City game that Carriers would maybe get a run in the side now. Does he continue this weekend in goal? Do you really think that I changed my mind that quick? <laughs> oh, yeah, no, no, yes. Well, but I was just wondering then why, why, why make the change sort of now or give him the run in the side now when Simon looked quite settled? First of all, it's the first time that I heard anything positive about Simon Manuelay. I'm happy about that. I was always very positive about him, so maybe you should talk, tell him personally. Um, it's, I would say it's a very difficult job to be a goalkeeper or a centre-half in, 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 in Liverpool, So because nobody forgives you one mistake. Obviously, since I'm in, it feels like, wow, if, if our goalkeeper makes a mistake, it's a, it's a disaster. And if any other goalkeeper makes a mistake, then it's, he's still a fantastic goalkeeper and we should buy him. So I'm I'm really um, fine with our goalkeeper situation. Yes, Lois Carlos could have made a save around the first goal, even when I think, or with when they scored the first goal against Man City, even when I think it was a world-class finish in this moment. It was very surprising, very hard stuff like that. But so it's always makes sense to to say the truth. But he's um, a really good goalkeeper, and um, we brought him in uh, because we wanted him to play. 
well, a few difficulties, but um, meanwhile he settled as well and um, a lot of really good things in his game. They are natural and I like them and now he can show them. That's that's all. And we changed a lot of positions during the year and only with the goalkeeper. It looks like we have to we have to stick to our opinion for 20 years if we, if we made a decision one time. So I changed not my opinion, but I changed the situation now and um, that's all. But of course, Loris has to deliver. He knows that. And um, but now he is the number one, um, and that means he can play a game and he can concede a goal like he conceded against Manchester. It's not that we want that, but it's still possible. And so, but all the good things I like to see again. I saw a lot of good things in the games he played um, in the last few weeks. That's why he's in. Jurgen, momentum is hugely important in football, not just in terms of of what happens out on the pitch, but, but the confidence that it gives the players and the self-belief. Can you sense now uh, amongst your group that there's a, a, a real desire to, you know, to go out and prove their worth and the, the final, what remains of the season, because they're, they're playing some great football? Yeah, it's... I think we play, uh, the, the boys played a few pieces of fantastic football this season already when we a few weeks ago so that's that's how it is but of course we we have a we have a strong team and we have a strong squad um a skilled squad and so we need to we need to win football games that's that's how it is and uh, we need to to win football games you need to perform that's what we did um and but Nothing else, and we know that as um, I said a few times, this is the decisive part. What we, what we did so far is the basis for the rest of the season. Now it's coming up the decisive part, and now we need to be ready again. And we um, we should not forget the not so good things, but for sure not the the, the really good things, and have to 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 use them as tools. And, and um, yeah, we are longer together now. That helps always, but it's a outstanding strong league so and especially the fight for this top position it's 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 really hard because it's it's like everybody needs to play like a champion to stay there if you give a little bit away then the next one is immediately there and 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 always yeah, can get you stuff like that so um it's uh, it's very interesting it's very interesting but yes our first job is to to collect points we did it a few times the next job is to make our fans happy so if we can combine that, that's a pretty good situation. We did it last week, and we have to try it again on Monday. How important has Andy Robertson become to the team now? When you consider relatively new, played a couple of games and then was left out, but recently, and in particular the last two games, Everton and Manchester City has been absolutely top draw. Nice, really nice. Oh, very important. So very important, of course. You, you, you all. A lot of people were in doubt about Alberto Moreno before the season and um, thought, OK, we need to bring in a new, um, probably a new fullback. What we did with Andy Robertson was a nice, nice prospect. Or really um, was clear, big talent, offensively skilled, um, few um, gaps to close in his defending um, things. And um, so it was not the easy, most easy time. That's how it is, for, maybe for Andy. Um, I'm sure for Andy, but he was quite cool in the situation. He was not that he was a lot of times in my office and asked why I don't play. And especially Alberto Moreno played fantastic. Apart from the Sevilla game, he, was, he played an outstanding season so far. And then he got injured. And then it's very important for a club like Liverpool. It's unbelievably important to have somebody who can. They don't have a big bounce. And you think, oh, who is that? And and he needed maybe one game. And he was spot on. So that's good. That's absolutely good. It's exactly what we need. And um, Alberto is on the way back, but, but doesn't mean anything. It only means our situation is better than that. We have two players for that position, um, and we have a lot of games and enough games for both of them. So, just um, um, it would be just a good situation. But back to Andy, yeah, he stepped up and did did really a fantastic job. And um, uh, it's, it's really nice as a manager to be part of it. To, to see a player because that's quite difficult as well. You, you you come to a new club, and everybody's expecting the best from you from the first second you are in, and um, everybody needs time to adapt. Even a football player. And so I'm happy that he had the time, used the time, and could play like he played in the last few games. Oh. Does that with Andy and the, the goalkeeping situation show that the, the depth you have in your squad now is? Is sufficient to, 
continue to continue maintain that quality. You, you can rotate the full backs, you can change the goalkeepers without. Yeah, yeah, but that's um, it's not the first time that, that, that we get aware of um, that. Our that the depth of the squad is quite it, it's different to last year. That's how it is. So we have um, we as you know, I said we had we have four with Joe. If you want five centre halves this week, we had two. Um, and that's it happens quite that happens overnight. No, you know, one is injured, the other one is ill, stuff like that. And we need to, and as long as you can redirect, and say, it's never a problem because it's a normal part of the season. And uh, but you don't want to change only when the players are injured or something like that. We, we had and we we had a very intense period these two weeks now between this game and the, and the what was it Everton and, and and City and now City and Swansea that feels like a preseason. There are so many sessions to 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 work on different things. What we really enjoy, what's really it's fantastic to, to do things like that. But all the other times you always need to have a game and a game and again, the recovery of game and, and stuff. And it will come up again with the Champions League, hopefully, and FA Cup, hopefully. Um, and um, so we will have enough games for the whole squad and we will use that. And um, we said it in December, we, late November and December, we said it as, for us, there's no alternative to, to rotate. We felt like it was not necessary all the time that the player said, "Oh, please, can you leave me out for the next game?" But it was necessary for what's coming up now. But nothing is decided. We still have to, we still have to 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 use um, this this um, hopefully now still existing physical power. So that's all because as I said now it's very getting very interesting. Every fights for everything, and uh, each game is, becomes a final, and stuff like that. That will all come up. One fights for the league, one fights for the uh, for European competition, for everything, and um, and we will be involved in all that. So that's nice. Um, just I've noticed Roberto Firmino. The last couple of weeks seems to have been getting a lot more praise. I've been noticed by the outside of the Liverpool circle. How important is he? To the to your game plan, to what he, what he does up there, in that, that central role. I don't think then it's possible that somebody could get more credit, compliment, praise, whatever you ever want to say. But as Roberto gets from us, to be honest. So, but it's well deserved. Everything. So he's a fantastic football player. If you should see, if you could see him in training, and you think. Oh, what a work ethic, what a attitude, and he brings it on the pitch as well. So he never, he never rests. So if you want, you have to pull him out. You have to tell him, come on, stop, sit here, calm. Yeah, so he would never stop, and that's obviously. I hope that I don't know exactly. I hear it in the stadium that obviously people like him. Good idea, um, but I have no real idea if, if anybody thinks he's. Um, is not important or whatever. I'm not too much interested, to be honest. He is very important, how all the other players as well. But I'm pretty sure if you, um, if I give the players the opportunity to have a free choice in training, build your teams by yourself, Robbie is one of the first they would pick. Nice to have him around, better than to have him in the other team. So um, that's maybe the best thing to can say about a football player.